In this tutorial, we will show how you can rapidly generate a safe model by converting polylines on an imported CAD drawing to safe objects. We will create the model two times, first at a rapid pace, and then a second time slower with explanations. We'll time our work. Add the columns. Next, add the walls. Add the slab. And lastly, add the openings. Stop the clock. It took just under a minute for the entire process. Now we will slow it down a bit and explain exactly what was done. The first step is to import an architectural CAD plan. Once we select a plan, SAFE will ask where we want to locate the architectural plan and whether to automatically add center lines to place walls and beams. We will leave the default settings, which means that SAFE will place a center line between parallel lines that are spaced from one inch to four feet apart. The architectural plan is now displayed. When working with an architectural plan, one of the key tools is the Options Architectural Plan Options command. This allows us to selectively set which items are to be displayed and hence which items will be converted into safe objects. We will start by displaying only the columns. Before we draw any columns, we will check our default column property definition. We have only one column, which is 24 by 12 inches. Remember these dimensions. Click the Draw Columns button and window around some of the architectural columns. Column objects are added that fill the polylines shown in the CAD drawing. SAFE will automatically create different column sizes to match the architectural columns. Checking the column property definitions, a column 2 has automatically been created with dimensions different than our default column. If we zoom in, we can add a single column. Return to the column draw mode. And then place the cursor on the column edge. And when it says arc area, click the right button. Select the convert safe column option. This will convert the polyline area into a safe column. If we had used the left mouse button instead of the right, a column with the property shown in the draw columns form would have been placed. Delete this last column, resize the view, and return to the draw mode. Window to create all of the remaining column objects. Next, we will change architectural layers to display walls. Checking the wall properties, 
we again have a single default wall property defined. Select the Draw Walls command. And this time, hold down the Shift key and window around the wall polylines. Safe converts these polylines to wall objects. A check of the property definitions shows that new wall properties have been created. Zoom in and return to the draw mode. And this time, when the center line is displayed, right click, select Convert to Safe Wall, and we can add one wall at a time. Finish the walls by windowing with the Shift key. Note that Safe handles even curved walls. Next, change the architectural layer to the slab outline. Select the Draw Slab command and right click on the edge when it says Arc Area. Select the Add Safe Area option. The polyline is converted into a safe slab object. Note that Safe models the curved edges of the slab. Change the items visible to the shaft openings. Select the Quick Draw Slabs command and set the type of object to Opening and the Draw Object Using to Arc Layer. This must be set to Architectural Layer for the program to convert the polylines to openings. Window around the openings. The Shift key does not need to be pressed for this command. Openings can also be drawn in the following manner. Leave the draw mode and zoom in around the last opening. This time, select the Draw Slab command. Make sure that the type of object is set to Opening. And move the cursor to the edge of the opening. When Arc Area is displayed, right click and select the Add Safe Area command to convert the polyline to an opening. Leave the draw mode. Lastly, we will add grid lines. Switch the visible layers to A Detail and S Grid, which are the architectural grids. Select the Draw Grids command. and hold down the shift key and window around the entire model. Leave the draw mode and go to the set display options form and switch off the architectural layers option. The safe grids are now displayed. We go to the edit grid data command we see that the architectural grid system has been imported by SAFE. In 3D, we can see that our model contains the columns, walls, slab, and openings defined on the architectural plan. This concludes this tutorial.